All right, this is Grant. He got first place today, uh, and we are going to do a deck profile. Awesome. Hi, uh, so today I'm playing Bestial Sprite. Um, I decided to play this today because um, I really liked the Sprite engine and I wanted something that was better than Math Max now that the Bestial cards have been released. So, my Sprite engine is pretty standard. We've got three blue, three jet. Um, I'm running one red, one carrot. I'm running one pixies. This is good in situations where um, they put a big monster on the field and they just move to battle phase. If you use elf to bring out blue as in your graveyard, you can search the pixies and contest anything that they could fight you with. We're also running three starter, uh, one smashers, and one double cross. Um, so the thing with smashers, I'm only running one because um, I'm not fighting a lot of tier at my locals right now, and I'm not really worried about this being sent uh, off of the tier effects, or the Ishizu cards effects. Um, maybe this card should be another Smashers for that, but I, I feel like the one is fine. Uh, Double Cross is really good uh, fighting against that in particular, um, but it is a drag going second. Uh, although there was one match where I had this going second because I accidentally left it in, and it actually won me the match. Um, I sh will probably take this card out eventually, but I like it. We're running three beaver and two angler. Um, if you open one beaver and nothing else, you can normal the beaver, search an angler, um, turn those into sprint, sprint, send an angler, get two more beavers on the field. You have just the amount that you need. We're running two uh, swap frog. I don't think you need more than two. Um, if you open one, then when you um, uh, go into gigantic, you can uh, pull frog to the field. Frog, uh, swap frog, bounce back to your hand, and then discard the other frog in your hand for the effect of the first swap frog. Um, it does make you go minus one, but I think it is better than bricking on them when you have three of them in your deck. We are running one pot of prosperity and two triple package talents. Uh, I'll be really honest; these should be prospies. They are sitting on my island. Um, I was walking out of the house on the way to uh, school today, and the USP S guy passed me on the way, and I did not have time to go back and get the Prospies. Uh, the second I get home, these are coming out and uh, turning into Prospies. We're running into Dark Ruler because boards these days are crazy. Um, three Ash Blossom. I'm thinking this probably should be Gamma. Um, I just feel like it would be apl applicable in more situations, but uh, Ash did help today. I was playing somebody playing uh, like Buster Blader round two. And um, I drew these four times in the span of two games, which is very funny. For the bestial part, because tier is a thing, we're running three Magnemit, which can be special summoned and then used to search for the other one, which is the, one of the three copies of Druid Swarm. Uh, I've been thinking about cutting one of these and turning it into a Saranir, just so that if I um, have like one of each of these in the opener, I can get a third bestial in my hand. Um, but it's crazy. Sprite has a really big issue just having like small guys that can't get over your other guys. The Bestials help out, help out a lot with that. We're running three Imperm because it's great and called by because it's amazing. That's a clean 40 for the main deck. For the extra deck, uh, I'm running one copy of Sprint. You use this in your opening combo to get one more material on the field. This card's release made uh, one card totally plays back to being viable. We're running two Elf. I've never been convinced you need the third one. I think two is fine dark because in the mirror match um grabbing the uh opponent's sprite cards and summoning them and activating them is absolutely busted um and there's like a lot of good dark monsters on the, on the game right now we're running a small ip package um ip can go into either mech knight crusadia evermax or uh, underworld goddess uh i'll be real underworld goddess should probably be um a different rank to exes um but i didn't have that today and um it almost came up there was one game where i was playing against uh Adagnister, and um i uh i was feeling really good when they started doing the combo that i couldn't stop because i was new i was like all right i'm just gonna go to underworld goddess later on uh we're running to gigantic i don't actually like the second one but it does come up so you kind of need to run it uh, one totally awesome because it is as awesome as the name implies. Gin Buster, I'm a little not sold on this card. Uh, it's nice if you have just a lot of gas in your hand, you want to get one more interruption, or if you want to insulate yourself against a, like a Nibiru or a, a Hand Trap. It's fine. I, I would consider trading it out for like Onibimaru or something like that. 
Cat Shark. Um, Cat Shark came up exactly once, and it did not help me in any way. Uh, it was just a, it was under Tikaboo, and it just it was a it was a monster I could go into to get another Thunder on the field. Um, uh, I, this deck is not completely finished yet. Uh, you'll see on the sideboard there are what I would want to replace for some cat tar sh cat sh mannequin cat targets. Um, I want to run uh, the Inferno Barrier Statue, um, Newman at Testado or Testado at Newman, whatever the one that is good is, um, and probably Artifact Scythe. Uh, Skycav, Downard, and Zeus. This is all just for getting into Zeus. This has some applicable bouncing shenanigans, but realistically, you're just going into Zeus with this. That's the extra deck. And lastly, the sideboard. Um, we're running three judgments. Usually, I just try to side out to the Dark Rulers for this judgment. Um, just really good generically. Um, usually, I'll side out the Ash Blossoms or something that's not like immediately needed, like the Prosbys or something. For these evenly matched, um, it's super good. Most decks will crumble to evenly matched. Uh, I am definitely scared of Fluunderies, so I have Droll and Lockbird. Uh, I hate that fucking deck, and um, I deal with it more often than I think I really need to. D Shifter, I don't like it, but you know you gotta run it for tier. Uh, something that's interesting that was in Sam's deck profile last week was the idea of running Shifter and then running Sprite Gamma Burst to um, Oko your opponent before they can have a chance to get started under Shifter. Gamma Burst won me a couple games that would have been contested if I uh, had played out for longer. It, being able to wrap this game up very quickly is something that Sprite does not have, and honestly, I'm considering mainboarding this. It is that good. Uh, Harpies, because back row deck still exists, and, uh, well, Red Resonator for obvious reasons. And that's the deck. All right. Anyone you'd like to shout out? Uh, shout out to Nathan Gerchek and Noah Peltier for helping me build this deck. Um, and then shout out to uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Club to join me here. All right.